This is just a little video on um, introducing you to the piano keyboard. So you'll notice that we have groups of two black keys. And we have groups of three black keys. Three black keys, three black keys, three black keys. Underneath the two black keys, in the middle of the two black keys, you have the note that we call D. So there's a D, here's two black keys, there's a D, here's two black keys, there's a D, here's two black keys, there's a D. On either side of the D, we have C and E, and all I have to do is find them. Lots of G's. Okay, here's an E, and there's an E, and there's an E. So E comes after D, obviously. And here is an E. And then before D in music, if not in this box, is the letter C. So C, D, E. So under the two black keys, you have C, D, E, C, D, E, and C, D, E, but what makes it easy is to find the, the D and go from there. Then you've got um, the groups of three black keys. I'll eventually find another C. Here's one. And um, on, at the bottom, what, or to the left, of the three black keys, we have the letter F. And F, of course, comes after E, if that helps. So we're still looking for another C here. And at the top of the three black keys, or to the right of the three black keys, we have the letter B, which is, of course, what comes before C. Mm, we may or not, may not have another one of those. Um, here it is. All right. Now, in between the F and the B, you have G, which comes after F, and A, which comes after G in music, or before B. So, I don't know if the camera goes this far, but there's another B. So, here's the A before B, and here's G, A, G, A, G, a. I don't know if this will go this far, but G A. This is not a professional television production. So, three black keys, F G A B. Two black keys, C D E. Three black keys, F G A B. Two black keys, C D E. Three black keys, F G A B. Two black keys, C, D, E. Three black keys, F, G, A, B. Two black keys, somewhere there. Ooh, let's see, let's look for the blues. Is, well, that's an E, good heavens. Ah, here's a C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So, um, this would be a second. F to G is a second, or a whole step. G to A is a second. It's also called a whole step because there is one black key in between. A to B is a whole step, but B to C is a half step because there is no other key in between. C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. A whole step is also called a major second. E to F is a half step, which is sometimes called a minor second. F to G is a whole step or a second because it has a key in between. G to A is a second, A to B is a second, B to C is a minor second or a half step.
C to D is a major second. D to E is a major second. E to F is a minor second because it's a half step. There's no key in between. F, G to, F to G has a key in between, so it's a whole step or a major second. G to A has a key in between, so it's a whole step or a major second. A to B has a key in between, so it's a whole step or a major second. B to C has no key in between, so it's a half step or a minor second. The two half steps on the white keys are between B and C and E and F, and this plays a role later on in the pattern for major scales. You can make one major scale on all white keys only, and that is the C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And there the pattern is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Or two tetrachords, whole, whole, half, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step. So two tetrachords of whole, whole, half connected by a whole step make a major scale. Uh, most of the time, from one key to the next key is a half step. F, up a half step could be called F sharp. G, down a half step could be, could be called G flat. So the word enharmonic applies to this black key because it could be called F sharp or G flat. This could be called G sharp or A flat. This could be called A sharp or B flat. B could be called C flat in certain, certain circumstances, and C could be called B sharp in certain circumstances. C of a half step could be called C sharp, or it could be called D flat if you went down a half step from D. It depends on the context. D, D sharp, E, E flat. So D sharp and E flat are enharmonic. C sharp and D flat are enharmonic. A sharp and B flat are enharmonic. G sharp and A flat are enharmonic. F sharp and G flat are enharmonic. E and F could be enharmonic because E could be called F flat sharp. It gets more complicated than that. B could be called C flat and C could be called B sharp, but we will not talk about how that could be more complicated. Um, when you get to intervals, so this is a major second. Let's do it from C. C, the, the first scale degree to the second scale degree is a major second. C to E is a major third. C to F is a perfect fourth because it is two and a half steps. C to G is a perfect fifth. It's three and a half steps. Perfect intervals don't have a minor equivalent, but we'll, we'll, we're, we will worry about that later. C to G is a major sixth. C to B is a major seventh, and C to C is a perfect octave. F to F is a perfect octave, G to G is a perfect octave, A to A is a perfect octave, B to B is a perfect octave, C to C is a perfect octave, D to D is a perfect octave, E to E is a perfect octave, and then we're back to F to F. Um, so we'll look at this again when we get into other scales and how they look on the keyboard, but this is basically the names of the white keys. Um, then you would, uh, in the book, they'll talk about F sharp and G flat, and they'll talk about enharmonic, and they'll talk about tetrachords. So hopefully that is useful information for you.